Welcome back to Delta Stock. So on today's episode, we are going to talk about long distance relationship. This is a romantic relationship that is between a woman and a man who are living in different towns. I am going to be joined by my very good friend, Esther Datala France, and she is going to tell us about her love story. Long distance relationships are hard, but they are also incredible. If you can love, trust, respect, and support each other from a distance, then you will be unstoppable once you are physically together. Please meet the 33-year-old Esther Datala Iambo, now Esther Datala Franz, born in Lusaka, Zambia. Like most young ladies, has had the proclivity of belonging and raising her own family. At the age of 20, she beheld a close to perfect specimen of greatness embedded in human flesh. As is a tale of every fairy tale, the obvious chemistry between the two only saw the day of light five years later. Known only by his first name, Thomas got an employment opportunity in the city of Emeralds, the place where value has actual solid meaning. Although almost a thousand kilometers away from the love of his life in the mining town of Orangemund, Esther remained his only treasure's jewel, a true diamond indeed. Long distance is nothing when two hearts rotate on the same galactic orbits. The relationship bear fruits in 2016 in the form of a very beautiful baby girl Delta, a true spitting image of love. Thomas upon moving to the coastal hemisphere of the country where ocean meets sand, it was but an obvious choice and the right timing to place a diamond on the finger of the only diamond he truly cherished and the two got engaged in 2020. Since the exchange of vows on the 8th of October 2021, another fruit of the womb ensued, a sibling to Delta in a boy form, and they named him Alpha. Long distance since the start of their relationship, never lived in the same town since the birth of their babies. The question is, how did they do it? How possible is it? What are the challenges? Well, let's get talking. Welcome Esther to our channel. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? How are you feeling? <laughs> Nervous actually. Why? Why are you I don't know. I've never been interviewed before, so yes. This is not an interview, it's a conversation. But anyways, mm -hmm. I just want to thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I think we need to celebrate the fact that you are mm -hmm. officially my first guest Yay. on my Delta channel. So let's as drink to that. Yes, let's as drink to that. As it should, yeah? Yes. Cheers. Ooh. Yes. I'm not so, drink now, though. Okay, let's drink later. Yeah. Anyway. So, mm -hmm. we are talking about love. Our most favorite topic, right? It's, it's still your favorite topic, right? I do. Oh my gosh, yes. It's, it's my favorite. I, I love love. Okay. Yes. So we've heard your story with, with, with your husband, mm -hmm. with your now husband, Thomas. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I just want you to give us a little background on how the two of you met. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. well, you don't know the background? Go for it. Don't you know the background? Who, me? Uh. I do, but our viewers don't. <laughs> How Long you story short, no, we met in 2010. Mm -hmm. Okay, he got my number from my cousin and he wanted to meet that. Why did he get your number from your cousin? No, apparently, he saw a beautiful girl in my cousin's phone and he was like, I like this girl, can I have her number? The beautiful girl was you. That was me now, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So, he got my number, contacted me, we met up and yeah, he asked me, and then of course I said no. I was not ready for a relationship then. That was 2010. Mm -hmm. And then five years late, later, yeah, we kind of, yeah, we met up and then we started dating. But I must say that we, was, we were friends 
before after that all right as soon as you asked me out and i said no we, we remain friends good friends by the way awesome yes. that's something great and here we are yeah so our first question or my first question to you is uh -huh. what is it because um in most cases mm -hmm. us women feel supported in, in different ways mm -hmm. and we always want to feel supported especially in our relationship yeah. so what um what do you need or what did you need to feel supported in your long distance relationship um i would say for me i just needed someone to be understanding i think that's the most important thing seeing that we are like a thousand kilometers or let's say now 100 kilometers apart from one another mm -hmm. if i'm to say that this is what i need from you or i need time to do this then you need to be understanding to just allow me to just do me okay yes that's how i feel supported so that's how it was working for you that's and how it really for, for that. both of us yes awesome uh let's talk about boundaries i know you are an advocate of boundaries <laughs> you, you you are one person knowing you personally and, and being with you on your journey of mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. especially um what are the boundaries that you guys have set up for yourself in this long distance relationship that you've been in it's when you say boundaries now. or or how how would you rather um how did the boundaries help you handle the distance uh, what we normally do is that we, we usually call each other, like, I would say like six, seven times a day. Oh. It's not even a lie. No, it's the truth. Six, seven times and a day. And that is my new normal. Yes, we do. So, obviously, if you're not going to be by your phone when it's, you know, call time, time. Call, call time, you inform the other person that, no, I'll be at work or I'll be, you know, doing this or I'll be in class or I'll be doing this and so forth. We always inform each other prior. Okay. Because if it's two o'clock and I'm expecting your call, then you should obviously, you know. The other thing also is that we, everything that we do, we inform each other. Be it me going to an interview like right now, or taking the kids somewhere to visit their aunt, we always inform each other. So every little bit. Let's talk about the time. Mm -hmm. Do you guys, do you have a set time that four o'clock we are calling each other, three o'clock we are oh calling each word. other, or what happens? How no, do you okay, let me put it seven this times way. a day. When, we, when you wake up, of course, in the morning, you, there's a phone call. Okay. Right? During tea time, there's a phone call. Lunch time as well. In between, before you knock off, there's a phone call. After work, there's a phone call. At night, there's a phone call. Two or three. So you guys always so let me not talk about. I hope it doesn't seem crazy, but uh -huh. that's just our normal. Wow, it's yeah. a good normal. It's a good normal. I don't know if I can keep up with six, seven time calls a day. You, you, you will. Okay. When you're when you're in a long distance, you will. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, so well, well. You, you, you've already spoken about communication because my next question was how often do you guys communicate? So you yeah. guys communicate throughout the whole day, throughout six the whole to seven day. times or even ten times a day. Yeah, definitely. It's possible for mm -hmm. Esther and Thomas. Mm -hmm. So let's talk realistically. Mm -hmm. How often do you guys perhaps visit each other? <laughs> I would say we visit each other every third week. Let's let, let's let's take it back to the time when Thomas was based in Orange and West. Oh my word! How, how, often, tough time? how no. often would you go visit him? I've never actually been there. What? No, I've never been there. Okay, I was supposed to, but then he obviously. By the time I was supposed to go there, he got a job offer elsewhere. Oh. So I never really managed or got a chance to go to Orange Moon. But when he was in Orange Moon, uh, it was always once a month. Okay. And now that he's, you know, four hours away from Ventuk, three every third week. So is it you or is it him that comes? We out in it, of course, uh -huh. with the kids. Okay. Yes, but mostly him. Cause yeah. All right. Um, in the introduction, mm -hmm. uh, I stipulated that um, mm -hmm. uh, 2016, you yes. guys were blessed <laughs> with a little baby girl called Delta. Oh so my word. This is not only my friend, you know, she's mm -hmm. not only a sister, she's not only, you know, a lot of things, but she is also um, one of the best people close to me because, because of that relationship that we had over the years, mm -hmm. um, her and Thomas saw it fit to name their child after me. So if we are going to mention Delta, we are going to be mentioning the baby Delta. Mm -hmm. So I hope that is clear. So she's not only my friend, but now I call her my mother as well. Mm -hmm. So mommies, tell us, so how did the distant, um, mm -hmm. I, I want to believe the time that you were expecting Delta, mm -hmm. Thomas was based in Orange Mount. Yeah, yeah. So how did that affect you during the pregnancy? Yo, um, 
number one it was my first pregnancy mm -hmm. and number two it was a new relationship it was actually at the beginning so that was like supposed to be our honeymoon phase, phase in the relationship but then he had to go now yeah you know and working around your moon uh it was really tough because I, I would say my pregnancy with delta was really one of those re those you know bad I, should i say bad what's the what's the, it was what's really the right bad. word it was so bad yeah like i had morning sickness like it was just it was it was a bad pregnancy yeah yeah it was a bad one although i enjoyed it but it was really it was a bad one i, I really off. needed yeah it, yeah it was just it was just one of those i needed him more and to some extent i sort of i don't want to say resented him but i kind of like i was just not what's the word on the end of and then on the end yeah because yes. he was too far because he was too far and i was really experiencing like something that i've never had before yeah and yeah it, it was tough on us but the good thing was that he amidst all that he made sure that he was going to stick by me and really love me unconditionally despite me not wanting him near me and i want to believe that is the beauty of love right uh, yes i guess yeah <laughs> All right, so tell us, how long have you been in a long distance relationship mm -hmm. with him mm -hmm. before he, you guys finally said I do? Uh, okay, so we started dating in 2015 and then we got engaged 2020. So that means five years? Yeah, that was five years in a long distance relationship. Sure. Five good no, we did no, didn't make it. It was not easy. I, I think I was the I was always I was the emotional one in the relationship. I was always the one crying. Oh. Every time he has to go, I'm not. I, I was I was I was that one. I was the cry baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did the long distance affect the kids? Sure, with the kids now, because Alpha is Alpha is little. He's still young. He doesn't understand anything. But of course, with Delta, now that she's growing older, she now knows that okay, I miss. My, like there was a week where she was saying, "No, I miss my daddy." She was crying at night. Oh. So now that she's getting older, she's starting to actually realize and see that okay, my mom and my dad don't live in the same household. Hmm. And if my mom does something and I want my dad to say something and he's not around, then obviously I'm gonna feel some type of way. <laughs> so she is now at that age where she really sees now that okay. This is not cool and it's not nice. I want my daddy here. No. Yeah, but that's the little one doesn't. Uh, he's he's still a baby. He won't understand now. And how often do they talk to him? Every single day, like six, six, seven. Okay, times. but of course, with, no. I would say with Delta, maybe I think once or twice a day. Okay. Yeah. What? Because, because <laughs> what is the one thing that she always they, tell her, her dad when 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 he calls? Uh -huh. Or rather, what is the one thing that he asks her, maybe? Either way. Like, how was school? And then she starts talking about how the school was and what her day, how her day went and so yeah, forth. being a storyteller. like Yeah, she's a storyteller, yeah. so she just tells everything. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. We are getting to the most interesting parts of the Which is what now? Right. So the next question is, mm -hmm. uh, you know how us ladies are full of surprises? <laughs> are you, do you not like to be surprised? Wait a minute, no. Are you surprised? Um, yeah, I, yeah I, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of surprises actually. Come to think of it. Hey. No, I'm not really. No, I'm actually not. Is he? The, is he? Does he like surprises? Uh -huh. I, I would say he enjoys surprises. Yeah, he does enjoy surprises. Okay, then this leads me to my next question. <laughs> Are your visits always planned? Most definitely. All of them. Always planned. Oh, it's like uh, no really. There is no way I'm gonna travel without informing him. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we guys communication is key. But you inf I, oh, like we you like guys I said, surprise we, we talk on a daily, yeah. almost every third hour, second hour. Now how do I not inform him that I'm or about how to do drive for or hours. how do I drive for hours without him calling me? You know, and route to wherever he is. It's it's impossible. Okay, they they never. They I've never do done this. Visits. I've never done that actually. I would. <laughs> okay, maybe one day I should do that. But you should. It would be nice. Try. It would be nice. Believe me. Imagine four hours without actually talking to him. It's gonna be a, no. It's it's impossible. Then switch off your phone and, and drive. See, that's not the thing. Switching off phone doesn't work when you're in a relationship like that. You don't switch off your phone at all. <laughs> Always have your phone battery full. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Another boundary as well. Oh, okay. Yes. 
Next question is, what is the most consistent thing when it comes to your relationship? Yeah, we always communicate. No, let me, no. The consistent thing that he's always done was to say he loves me after every phone call. Mm -hmm. After every phone call, he says, I love you. Now me, <laughs> at first I was like, oh my God, this guy is so extra. <laughs> But you say do now. And now I, I do. So I that's think, like a must. I think. So you hear it seven, six times a day. Every single day. And if you don't say it, obviously, that's like you saying that you're not happy with something. At the times when you don't say it? I, I try not to, or I'll say it slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be pick it up and then something is wrong. Yeah, obviously, he'll know that, okay, something is not right. I love you. And I'll be like, mm, yeah, I love you. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Are you fine? I know I'm not fine. Then, then you know, then you just start talking. Yeah, that he always, always says it. Oof, all is so nice. <laughs> wow. Okay, so yeah. okay, let's talk about conflicts. I know you are not really one that um, not a fighter. Entangles themselves into I'm conflicts. not a fighter. Not a fighter at all. Okay, we we are not talking about fighting. Mm -hmm. Just conflicts in general. Maybe in general. A misunderstanding. How do you guys handle that in, in a long in a long distance relationship? Yeah. Like I said, I'm not a fighter. I am more of a peacemaker. I'm a peacemaker. And, 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 and the good thing is that both of us are, are peacemakers. He also doesn't like fighting. Yeah. Yes. So if we have a misunderstanding of some sort, we always talk it out. Okay, let's talk about money. Let's talk about money. Before oh we go to money, money relationship is so hard. Oh my gosh. Cheers to the money. Cheers to that. But yeah, money is another money, issue, yeah. guys. Yo, okay. How do you split the expenses that comes in a, within a, with, with a long distance relationship? Now, considering the fact that you guys have two homes now, yeah, obviously where he resides and you being here with the kids, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they, it comes with a lot of expenses. It does. How do you guys split them? Yo, I mean, thank goodness that my husband is a he's a traditional man. Like he, I, I guess it's a thing of a man takes care of his family yeah and then of course the, the 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 woman or the mother has to manage the household yeah. so that's how it is with us like he takes care of us if you know what i mean yeah and then i will manage both households here and at the coast that's how without getting too deep into our financial, finances yes yeah. he takes care of us mm -hmm. and then mommy manages everything both here and at the coast I love that's what how we do mommy it manages yeah that's <laughs> just how we do it yes Okay, let's talk about loneliness. This is something that most us women suffer from, especially when the distance is so long. I you know, right? How do you handle that? Sure, guys. The, the, like the emotional aspect of it now. Yeah. When I mean, are, you get lonely, right? Yeah, you do get lonely, of course. What happens <laughs> you know, when you the, do? The, the thing is, what happens when I do, mm. like, I call my husband and then I just talk to him and I inform him that I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. Like, then we just get into that emotional bubble where we just like yeah you know we get into that when when one of us is you know feeling, you. feeling low you yeah see, see soon, soon don't worry soon you'll be able to come this side you know th that kind of talk yeah. yeah but i think for me I'm, I'm fortunate because i have kids yeah you know i sleep with my baby so the warm the bed is not warm <laughs> not cold. No, no, the bed is not cold actually yeah. at least i have the kids with me and he, he on the other bed. hand the how how does he saying? handle the loneliness considering that? I mean, he, he's not okay with it, like he's not happy. Sure. But as a man, he just has to be a man, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Like they say, like he just has to, you know, be a trooper and be strong for us. But it's yeah, not easy. it's not easy. Yeah. It's never easy, guys. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not a long distance relationship, loneliness does kick in. It does and when kick it does, in. Hmm. Mm, yeah. So tell us, um, how do you guys keep the fire burning? The fire oh must burn. So, so the loneliness question was, woo. How do you keep the fire In the burn? midst of the loneliness, you need to keep the fire burning, right? Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> how, do, how do you guys do it? <laughs> Yo, how do you guys do it? Yo, I, like I, woo, Delta. Yo. The fire, but like the one, like you gotta be creative. You just need to be creative. That's okay. all you need to do. I don't want to say too much because that's that's like me giving away my secrets. But when you're in a relationship, yeah. you need to be creative. That's Always. what you need to do. Always. Yeah. 
always that's a good lesson ladies be creative in your relationships and not only long distance any type any of type of relationship friendship whatever yeah, but most creative. but especially long distance yeah you gotta make it work even from a distance huh for sure she know what i mean ashike i salute you you are a very strong woman a body man look with the makeup oh Edidimiko? No, Edidimiko. Is that the right word? Yes. Edidimiko? Yeah. Yes. So, do you think you are fulfilling the duty of a, of a wife to your fullest capacity, or do you perhaps think you could do better? To my Be, being away from being husband, away. Yeah. <laughs> Am I fulfilling my my what? Your w wife, wifely, wife. wifely or woman duties? Be specific. Which I one? want to say wifely. I don't want to say woman. Wifely duties as a I'm not fulfilling them. Hey. To my fullest capacity? Uh -huh. Not at all. Not to my fullest capacity. Mm. Because I would I'm I'm a very hands-on type of person. I'm a homemaker. Yeah. So I would love to be in one household with my husband and my kids to really fulfill them. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's not gonna work. But I I must say that despite the distance, mm -hmm. I still have, you know, a lot of input. Yeah. you know on the other side like when you, you'll know that there's a woman here even if i'm not really there all the time you will know yeah yeah so that's how i do it but it's not really to my fullest capacity but hopefully one day yeah mm -hmm. so if an opportunity <laughs> was presented to you uh -huh. to move to the town where your husband resides in oh my word already my bags are ready <laughs> what, what is your question <laughs> What is it? Would you move? Oh, yes! <laughs> You've already packed that. Like, already. Oh my god. Like, really? Like, like now we can? Like, mm. we're ready. It's, eh? it's not even a joke. <laughs> that was the first one. It was, no, really. Like, immediately, immediately, I, I would go. Awesome. I would go. So, this is the last question. Already? What is a short interview? It was. Yes. We just did to get in the field. I was just starting. Look, my nerves are already gone. Yeah. So now now that they are gone, now we, oh, the we, questions are done. Yeah. I want. <laughs> okay, so, so the last question mm -hmm. is what advice do you have for anyone that is currently in a long distance relationship or might find themselves in that situation one day? Uh, I would say. Uh, in your relationship must be really genuine yeah be genuine be really true to one another mm -hmm. love each other be supportive and uh, communication is so important when you are so far from one another yeah. if you don't communicate because there's so many barriers like you have to communicate every little thing communicate talk to each other every day give the other person assurance that yes I'm still there I still mm -hmm. love you despite the distance like I'm thinking of you just mm -hmm. assurance and which are yes even if we, we still got we, we still have this and we're going to make it work yeah. i mean look at us like five years almost six is it six seven years correct me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. like still on long distance uh, and we're still pushing through and it's not easy but we just keep reminding each other that okay this is what we plan to do yeah together yeah. so let's keep on fighting for it and make it work Awesome. Yeah, it was so nice talking to you. I wonder why is it so thank, short? Thank you so much for sharing your little... Can you tell that I was nervous? Um, no. Yeah, my heart is beating. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's still beating. You, 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 was you, I not, good? You, you were perfect. No, you were glad. perfect. So thank you so, so much for, for coming to share your love story with us. Mm -hmm. I am sure a lot of people will be inspired. I, I, wish, I, I wish Habi was here though. Then he, he can give his input as you well. You know he won't. He but is he not won't. that type of person. He is yeah, not that type of person. Yeah. That, that comes with understanding. These are my views, by the way. Yeah. These are my views. My husband might say something different. No, but he won't say it here. But then again, we are one, so it's... We speak one language. Yeah, it's a love for me. It's, yeah. But anyways, as I was saying, thank you so much for being my very, very first guest. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, that is it, my darling. Yes. So we have officially come to the end of our program, our first episode of Delta Stop. I'm so excited for this one because mm -hmm. obviously more is still to come. Yeah. This is not the last time I'm seeing you on this. I'm still I hope bringing not. you back here. I hope not. Because I, I still feel like you have a lot to share, not in terms of relationship, mm -hmm. maybe career, career mother, motherhood, motherhood oh, oh. Friendship, friendship, you know. So many things that we can yes. learn from each other as women mm -hmm. and uh, this was nice yes i would like to congratulate you on your first 
interview thank though. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm impressed. I love what you've like, what you've done here. Like guys, she's, she's looking sing. at the lights and the camera. Yes. For those of you that don't know, she is a, a YouTuber as well. Yes. Please follow her on her YouTube channel. I mean, subscribe. To say her my YouTube name. Channel. Say my name. All things Datala. All things Datala. Oh, I. I don't know. No man, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> say it right. Okay. Please subscribe to her YouTube channel. All things Datala. Yes, her channel. <laughs> How did that sound? That sound well. I did it better it, than it, yeah. It's better, yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. she started her YouTube channel before I did, and she's been really, really consistent. So mm -hmm. we are doing the first feature. It's oh, wow, that is so nice. Let's cheers to that. Cheers you did drink. No, I my Let's nerves, drink and my looking nerves. at each other. Why? <laughs> because apparently, if we oh don't, gosh, I don't believe that nonsense. Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. That was my first episode with my friend Esther as she uh, deliberated on her love story. And I hope it has impacted one or two ladies out there, not only ladies, but also males to do better in their relationships. Long distance relationships are not impossible when two hearts rotate on the same galaxy orbits. So thank you guys for watching. Before I go, I just want to give credits as always. That is what we do on this channel. So face beat by Ali Tobias. I am dressed in Darling's collections and the shoes are by my best friend, courtesy of her. Thank you so, so, so much. And obviously my last but not least, the Katarina crew behind the camera. Thank you so, so much for making this possible. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you want to see yourself on the show, if you have something to talk about and you want to sit right here with me, please feel free to send us an email at deltastalk at gmail.com and we shall definitely get back to you. So with that said, thank you so much and see you on the next one.